Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good and I hope you're enjoying the Halloween videos so far. I am truly in my element. Do you guys remember this tray? Has it been years? I feel like it's been about three years since I've made anything with this silicone mold. This is the Let's Resin Tray Mold. Now, oh my gosh, did I have fun with this? I think I made about 10 things on my channel back when I first started resin. It's been a minute, but I really wanna get my teeth into Creative Fabrica. And as I was searching through the website, the designs, everything was literally making my brain spin. So I wanna make a tray totally inspired by these. You would have seen these recently in a video. I was totally and utterly obsessed with this mold that I got from Amazon, like a super cheap, cheap chocolate mold. Love the results, love the colorways. So that is what we're gonna do again in today's video, but we're going to make a tray with two handles. The handles I got are from Amazon. Everything I use in the video will be linked below. Of course, Let's Resin as well, I'm an affiliate, so the details for that will be below. Now, similar to the last video, because this is a two layer project, I just need a base layer before I lay down my vinyl. And there's nothing more perfect than the Apex Just For You Online two hour cure two hours epoxy resin i did mention it in the last video i think if you just if you're creating a multi-layered piece that just requires thin layers this is perfect but i think it's especially perfect for like a block opaque base and that is what we are using this powder my goodness me I didn't even realize I had any left. Do you, do you know, it felt like Christmas when I found this in my stash. It felt like Christmas. This is the best purple powder on the planet. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. They didn't tell me to say that. This is the Resin Pro Dark Purple. I'm going to use a light purple mica and I'm going to use a black liquid pigment from Vista. I want to create that real kind of swirly, witchy, ghostly purple and black blend <laughs> that's what we're going with now what i did do i mixed up the dark purple from resin pro first then i mixed up the lighter purple but i added a bit of the darker in then i mixed up the black liquid pigment to which i also added a bit of the darker purple because i kind of want that theme going throughout now before i pour my resin i am getting major deja vu doing this video guys it is literally deja vu it's throwing me back to when I very first kind of, maybe in my first year of resin, when I started doing these trays, it's just bringing back all of those memories. And it's been a minute. Like, why don't I make more trays? What I'm doing here, you'll see, I'm using some of this um, craft foil. It automatically clings to the silicon just through static. So you don't need any glue, you just shove it around the edges and that's gonna give me a gorgeous metallic-y, silvery edge when we demold. Now I'm going with the lighter purple around the outside. Again, I've added in some of the darker purple into this. When we pour resin into a flat tray like this with multiple colors, it has a tendency to draw. Everything draws into the center. So there's a risk that I'm going to lose a lot of the colour and it will just be that lighter purple from the outside coming into the centre. However, because this is a two hour cure epoxy resin, I don't think this resin has the luxury of time. Usually you'll find that kind of blend in a 24 hour cure resin. It has more time to cure, therefore more time to move. And I don't think this two hour cure epoxy is gonna really do that for me. So I might need to put a bit of work in and move it around myself to get the effect I want. Now, there is also a tendency for black to take over. Anyone watching this who's done resin will know that is a fact. If you add black to anything, there is a tendency for that to totally take over your piece and just drown out all of the other colors. Now, I did spray the whole tray liber liberally, liberally with some 99% alcohol just to A, help the colors blend, B, get rid of any potential air bubbles. But after about three or four minutes, I really didn't see any movement whatsoever because again, this is a two hour cure resin, really quite thick and viscous, you know, it's not really going anywhere. So. I decided we're gonna have a play with heat. I'm heating this up 
a lot. I'm really hold, I'm not holding it for ages in one place, but what I don't want, I don't want them harsh black lines that I've just created. I got my lollipop stick and I swirled it around the whole thing, bringing the black out and bringing the purple in. And then I spent a good quality amount of time using my heat gun to blur those lines. So I'm just blurring the black into the purple and blurring the purple into the black. Now this again is the base layer. So as soon as I finish pouring, I put my handles in and now we get over to Creative Fabrica. Now, I knew what I wanted again for this tray. I wanted something to do with apothecary. I've got a love of apothecary. I've said it in previous videos. Now, <laughs> we will all notice. I did not film the weeding of this one because I filmed the weeding in the last video and I don't really know if you guys want to sit through that. Let me know, should I add the footage of me weeding? Like, I just don't know if that's valuable content. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, what I will say is that very much like the Salem sign, there were so many apothecary potion signs. So many. And they've all got different wording and different flows and different extra designs. Like this one had bats and stars and there were others. Now, when I was on Creative Fabrica, they all said poisons, el elixirs, elixirs, and brews, as in brew a cup of tea. BR. EW. <laughs> Tell me why this says cruise. Tell me why this says cruise. If you know why this says cruise, I put this to my patrons and I was like, am I missing something? Because when I read the file, it said bruise. But when it came to kind of weeding it, I didn't notice. I placed it down and I started to pour the resin and I was like, wait a minute, why does that say cruise and not bruise so if anyone knows my patrons were kind of like overwhelmingly in the agreement that it is a typo um and Paula and a few of us have actually gone and tried to find out what cruise means with regards to apothecary poisons and alexas I was thinking maybe it's a cough mixture maybe I don't know anyway it was too late it was too late in typical Claire fashion to do anything about it so now we have a very original tray with a typo potentially who knows <laughs> I top coated using exactly the same resin that I used in the last video that is the 20 hour cure um from apex just for you online and guys no blush absolutely no blush the finish is perfection like absolute perfection the way the black and the purple have interacted with each other because I really went to town with my heat gun, getting that black to kind of meld in and around the purple. I absolutely love the finish on this. Now, this is where it's going. It's going into Tim's man cave because he asked me to make him a tray for his new Amazon acquisition of the skull shot glasses and decanter classy <laughs> he absolutely loved it it's like can you make me a tray for these I was like do you know what I just so will yeah I will anyway this is what it is looking like let me know your thoughts also just to let you know I poured the top coat on this tray at exactly the same time within a minute of pouring the top coat on Salem on the Salem video the difference being this one didn't go into a box. Now, it was a very hot day. It was like 30 degrees here in the UK. I put the Salem one in a box because I felt like it's black. It's going to show any speck of dust. I wanted it fully protected. Whereas this one, I just left it out on my worktop in 30 degree heat. I didn't give it much thought about protecting it because I could already see we had some of that foil come up and in to the resin I really wasn't that bothered about anything else getting in there I think it adds to it it adds to the vibe you can see here where there's little specks of foil coming up and in and I'm not angry about it I think it adds to it I cannot get over I cannot get over the purple and the black I cannot I absolutely love the way these two colors have into well there's three there we there was two purples but I absolutely love the result 
of me using the heat gun to meld those colors together and that is definitely something I want to try again in future videos but I did want to let you know they were both poured at the same time the one that went under the box came out with blush and this one came out with absolutely no problems whatsoever perfect finish perfect tray I'm in love Tim loves it it's already sitting in his man cave with his little skull and shot glasses set and yeah this is right up my street. Have I said that before? Have I said that before? This is me. This is me. This is my kind of Halloween crafting. I hope you love it as much as me and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!